Koshimi, Kochkemi, Kokkemi, who knows, KCX, that's what I'm calling it. Anyway, whatever you call it, this is Motoplast and it's an underbonnet enhancer and corrosion inhibitor. Find out more on today's Golf Diaries. Hello and welcome back to the Golf Diaries. My name's Mark and if you're into your VWs, detailing, all that kind of good stuff, then hopefully you've found the channel for you. Uh, so yeah, please come along. Let's have some fun along the way. Koch Kemi, uh, I'm not doing all that again. KCX, that's what I'm gonna call it for the rest of this, this video. The reason being that recently the German brand uh, appreciated that it's quite difficult to uh, pronounce the, the, the company name uh, if you're not German speaking. And in fact, I've been told that even if you are German speaking, various dialects say the name in different ways. So they introduced the KCX brand just to simplify that a little bit. So here on out, I'm gonna be calling it KCX. So over the coming months, I'm gonna be testing a variety of products from the KCX range. It's a range I've been looking at for quite some time as it seems to offer really good value and really good performance, judging on the reviews I've seen elsewhere. So very keen to try it out for myself. What I will be doing in this uh, video and in future review videos uh, as well is I'll be breaking down how each product I review works particularly well for daily driver owners as well as for stored car garage queens like this pampered thing here uh, owners because the, sometimes the requirements are a little bit different of each product that is, is bought from a detailing point of view. So hopefully all will become clear. That's a, just a quick insight into my very confused mind. So hopefully all will become clear very shortly. So kicking off my KCX reviews is Motoplast. So this is a, an underbonnet enhancer and preserver. Um, and basically this is for everything underneath the bonnet, everything underneath the hood. Um, so whereas perhaps in the past, like myself, I've used things like CarPro Pearl or Autoglim uh, Vinyl and Rubber Care to kind of do the plastics and the rubbers, uh, this does all of that, but it also does the engine block itself, metal and so on. Personally, I'd keep it away from electrics. That's just me. Liquid and electrics should not mix in my opinion, uh, but I'll go into all that in far more detail shortly. It's ideal for daily driver owners for the simple reason it helps keep the engine clean, which again, as you're racking up the miles, particularly in winter in, in Northern Hemisphere um, climates, uh, that's quite a, quite a handy thing to have. Uh, but from a, a stored car perspective, it's really important because I don't know about you, but storing a car in a garage over winter, lots of condensation issues. Uh, and also, you know, a garage is dusty. It's, it, you can't help it. There is gonna be dust in the atmosphere. Put those two things together and uh, it's not a very nice recipe. So this is just gonna help protect everything under your engine bay. So how does Motoplast work? What does it do? Well, it leaves a naturally shiny, but not too shiny, as we will see very shortly, uh, finish to your plastics and your rubbers. But it also leaves behind an anti-corrosive, uh, rust inhibitive, um, if that's a word, um, film behind it. So everything around your engine bay, uh, the metals, etc., are also protected. Now this is uh, water displacing, and it's also, uh, it has anti-static properties, so dust doesn't tend to stick to it quite so easily. So, you know, a number of, of really good things it claims to do. It also says that it's good for up to 250 degrees Celsius. And let's be honest, if your engine bay ever gets above 250 degrees Celsius, you've got far bigger issues to worry about than whether this is gonna last or, or whether you've got rust on your engine. You don't wanna go there. Now we know what it does or what it claims to do. How does it apply? Well, in a word, easy. In two words, extremely easy. Have a look.
Now, I said it was easy, didn't I? I mean, how easy did that look? Um, if you can think of a, an easier way of applying a product, then please, love, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below because that's about as simple as, as it comes. Um, now, you can just leave it there. You can spray and, and walk away and leave it for about five minutes and then you're okay to start the engine up and go about your day. However, what I tend to do uh, while I've been playing with this, what I've tended to do is just go over it with a microfiber. It just gives you a chance to kind of make sure you get a nice, even coverage and you don't miss any bits. Although I did find when I left this for a while, it did kind of creep quite nicely into all the nooks and crannies. Um, the other thing I tend to do, which you don't need to do, but again, if you're a bit of kind of belts and whistles person, uh, you can perhaps spray a little bit of, of this into a microfiber and then just get into all those kind of hard to reach areas, which may or may not be, be hit if you just leave it to dry on its own. Um, it smells really nice. It's got a nice pleasant smell. I know it's in the engine bay. You're not going to smell it after you've applied it, but it all helps, doesn't it? It has got a nice smell to it. I think if you've got a stored car like this, the only concern I would have with that is those nasty little critters that come in at night that seem to be attracted to nice smelling detailing products. Um, I have had a bit of a mouse attack I've just discovered on the anniversary over winter, uh, so I'll be putting that right. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully um, the, the flexible film won't taste too nice and they'll leave it alone. The other important thing to consider is obviously you just saw me apply that to a completely clean engine. The anniversary just never gets dirty. So um, it's easy to apply straight onto a clean engine. I would certainly not put this on a dirty engine. I'm not quite sure why anyone would do that, but just really making that point clear that if you do have a dirty engine, um, it's definitely worth getting out your APC of choice, getting out your degreasers and your brushes and giving it a good clean. Um, I will be doing a, a post winter detail on the daily driver Audi actually. And if you feel that a, a video of how to clean an engine would be beneficial, let me know. Um, I know a lot of people are a little bit scared of washing uh, the engine, so I'm happy to do that. Just let me know if, if that's of value. Uh, but the, the other big advantage this has over a lot of products is you don't have to have the engine completely dry when you apply it. So it does have a water displacing element to it. Um, so whilst I wouldn't leave pools of water around, you know, mop as much up as you possibly can. Um, any kind of bits of moisture that are just trapped in all the kind of little nooks and crannies of the engine, um, don't worry about it. This, this, this will uh, just displace the water and you'll be good to go. In terms of longevity, durability, obviously this is a, a new product to me, so I haven't had a chance to test it yet. Um, my hunch, having played around with it, is on a, a vehicle like this, or a classic car that's stored, probably one application every three to four months, could last longer. Um, but yes, yeah, certainly during the winter when you've got those condensation and, and dust issues in a garage. Um, on a daily driver, well, I mean, how long's a piece of string? How I use my daily driver may be completely different to how you use yours. If you're doing a thousand miles a week, and some people do in the Northern Hemisphere during winter, um, in all conditions, then yeah, you're gonna probably need to top up with this quite often. I think what I'll be doing with the, uh, the Audi uh, is probably every second wash. So it's normally every two to three weeks. Um, just it a quick going over and by adding this into your routine you're creating a good habit you're creating a habit of keeping that engine bay clean because if you keep on top of the engine bay even on a heavily used daily driver it's easy to keep on top of it you don't get yourself into this mess where you've got to jet wash it and do all you avoid all of that and i think this will help because it is going to displace a lot of the water it is going to make it harder for dirt and grime to stick to it so i think possibly just topping up this every couple of weeks um, on a daily driver you'll be absolutely fine. It doesn't really matter how good a product is. If it costs a fortune, uh, you know, you, you have to think twice about buying it, don't you? Let's be honest, everything's going up in the world except wages. So, uh, you know, every penny counts. This is available on all the usual online retailers' stores and all within a few pence of each other, around the £10 mark. So some £10.30, some in the 9.95s, things like that. So it's all around the £10 mark at time of recording, um, which I think is incredible value for money, I've got to say. I mean, I probably over-applied it in, in the application video I just showed you. You don't need to apply that much. Um, uh, so I, I actually think, you know, given this expected durability of this, you know, one of these could last you a couple of years easy, uh, depending on how many cars you've got, of course. Um, so yeah, if you look at it like that, for, for peace of mind, for a nice looking engine bay that doesn't doesn't let, allow dirt to stick to it. It's got a little bit of uh, anti-corrosion protection on, on the uh, engine block and so on. Uh, I think that's pretty good value for money. I mean, to put it into context, a good quality quick detailer is going to cost you more than that. And you're going to go through a quick detailer a lot quicker than you go through this. Different jobs, I know. But um, yeah, good value. 
To summarize, it's a good product. Um, there's nothing to, to not like about this. Uh, it, uh, it seems to be effective. Time will tell on the durability. It's really easy to apply. It's cost effective, good value for money. Um, the brand name's easier to say now, uh, KCX. I keep saying it, hopefully it'll catch on. Uh, but Koshimi, Kochkemi, it's, it's a cracking product. So I'm really looking forward to trying out a few more of their products. And uh, if there's any particular product you'd like me to try, please let me know. Uh, if I get permission from the bank manager, I'll um, buy them in and try them. Now, married gentlemen of the world, you will know exactly what I'm talking about there. We're not talking about the high street bank. We're talking about a different type of bank manager. Um, so yeah, all being well, I'll uh, just put that down. All being well, I'll get some in to test for you. Just let me know what you would like in the comments below. So anyway, if you found this useful um, and or interesting or just feel sorry for me, uh, then uh, please like, subscribe, share it with your mates. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's really appreciated. We've got a lot of plans for the channel. We're here for the long term. We're here for a good time. So uh, until next time, stay safe, have fun and Bye for now.